last time we looked at this man, which was Sergio Canales. We're going to actually have a look at uh, Gabriel Paulista now. By the way, keep in mind, I just want to see if it's the same price, around 86, so about 850 max. Yeah, about 850 max, it, it, it's, no, 850? 150 max, 120 minimum, that's what I'm going to say. But, um, I've got to keep in mind, this isn't even a league game between the two. This is actually the Copa del Rey final. Uh, yeah, it's the final, boys, so it'll be very interesting to see who actually wins this matchup. And it'll all be decided on the day as well, no draws or anything like that, so it's win or loss. Simple as, it can go to extra time, it can go to penalties. Straight away with Paulista. Low high work rates, he's going to be very disciplined in defence. Um, basically what work rates do is like, see if you've got high high, the second you overturn possession in that defensive third or anywhere on the pitch, he'll move forward. You know what I'm saying? He'll move forward quite quickly to uh, get higher up the pitch and push your defence out. Whereas with a lower one, he's not going to have too much vigour in order to push forwards. He's going to just naturally sit there and keep his position. Two star, two star. It could be quite bad with the left foot if you're trying to clear it. Uh, so just well, watch out for that. This isn't bad. These aren't bad stats. Um, what you're looking for in defenders is like a few key things. For me, I like aggression. I like a bit of strength. Jumping's always kind of a necessity, especially for smaller centre-backs, which he's not. He's, he's six foot one, all good. Pace-wise, you need a bit of pace. We're getting to the stage of the game where you need acceleration, you need sprint speed. He's got 84 and 83. Uh, Passing-wise, accomplished. Finishing, he's not a striker. Dribbling. It's agility is not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, again, it always comes down... Well, not for me. Well, it's... The thing is, the ball control always important if it's drilled across the box at maximum like altitude or force. I don't know what altitude is. So that's always dangerous. But the thing is, 77 isn't as bad as it's like some out there where it just bounces off and go in any direction. He's actually got brilliant stats. Brilliant stats. Defense, like, chem style. You'd put an anchor on him, right? An anchor or a shadow. Definitely, man. This is actually a really good centre back. Really good centre back. I'd say the only kind of worry will be that weak foot, right? Apart from that, not too bad whatsoever. Dives into tackles. What I will say about Paulista, is he worth it? Is he not worth it? With the defenders that's in that league already, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. That could also be said for Canales. I mean, there's a lot of good camps in La Liga. The thing is, there's a lot of good centre-backs in La Liga. Most likely cheaper than Gabriel Paulista as well. But I do like these stat layouts, and I probably will try them as well. So if you do want to see that in more detail, come over to the main channel, Marshall 89 hd where it will be up tonight. So make sure you come across. Lads, this was my opinions on Paulista. Remember, it's all about the potential with the price of these cards for the 91. Will he get it? Will he not? It's either do or don't with this one. It's a cup final. Get amongst the comments. Who's going to win? We'll catch you in the next one.